Hi everyone, um, so I'm back with week four and um, this is another double page layout because I did quite a few things this week. Again, January just seems to be so busy, um, but I'm not complaining because this time last year was in lockdown. So I don't want to complain because I do not want to go back into lockdown. Um, so I'm just glad that I get to do things and I've got a load of things to scrapbook about. So I will get into it. So I'm just cutting down some photos of the... Um, well, like the little photos that go in the three by four slots. Um, and yeah, this, this layout is a bit simpler than the next one. There's a lot more photos on the next one. This is sort of my week up until Thursday. And then basically the second page layout is pretty much Friday and Saturday because it was, I did something big on those days, but obviously I'll leave it till next week. Um, so I'll just quickly run through the photos, but I'll go through them in more detail once I, um, start embellishing them so I've got a picture on the top right of me going for an interview an interview on the Monday I found out that I got it on the Tuesday so that's all good and finally it's over I've been stressing about that for about a month now so I'm just glad that was over and done with the bottom left is a picture of the newspaper article of all the COVID restrictions being lifted so we pretty much don't have anything here in England anymore um the only thing we have is the isolation sort of thing. So if you get COVID or that sort of jazz, you've got the isolation period. So I wanted to document that because I don't really document COVID as much anymore. And then the two photos that were on the bottom right, that was the large 6x4 and the small 3x4 one. We went to a really nice restaurant um, in Leeds called Mowgli. And we finally went on Thursday to sort of celebrate the whole promotion and all that sort of jazz. So it was quite nice. So Oh, and there's also a picture of a pizza because I was absolutely craving this takeaway pizza and we finally got it, I think, on the Wednesday. Um, so I took a picture of that because it's one of my favourite pizzas. Anyway, so this layout, I decided to use the Heidi Swap um, Carefree Sticker Collection because I've got the sticker book and that's pretty much all I've got from that collection. I didn't don't think I bought anything else. Um, but they're really nice um, colours. They're like pastel sort of muted tones and I just really like them. Um, so yeah, so I decided to use that, um, as the base for what I wanted to work on this layout with. Um, so the title card is literally like this project list card. And I believe, um, it is from, God, I can't, I'm testing myself actually. I think it's a, uh, Paige Evans actually. I think it's from a Paige Evans collection and, but it's just a six by four cut apart. And to be honest, it was one of the only ones I had as a landscape, nope sorry, portrait um, card that I could use as a title card, to be honest. Um, so because it was such a busy week, I basically was going to write down the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. And then write what I was doing that, you know, in the days, because it was just an absolute hectic week. Um, so that's why I've decided on that one as the title card. Um, so I'm just cutting down some paper and bits to back my photo. So I'm back in the one of me um, for the interview. Um, just with some paper from the In Bloom collection, which is from Paper Mania. And I've had that for quite a while. And I've used a lot of it and it just doesn't seem to go down. But I've used it just because it had the pale blue, which is what I was sort of going for. And then I've got this washi tape that I absolutely love. It's from Paper Chase. It came quite recently, actually, in one of their collections. And it just says, relax, repeat, rest. No, that can't be right. Rest, relax, repeat. <laughs> that sounds better in that order. Um, and I just use a little bit at the bottom there. And then I'm just flicking, flicking through the sticker book. And as you can see, I've not used anything from that sticker book yet. So I'm just glad to be finally using some bits. Um, so I just put a little banner that says good vibes at the top there. And then I'm using a sort of label sticker, like a navy blue label sticker um, just at the bottom. And then I find a little cute little gold heart and um it was like a see-through sticker like a word sticker it says go getter which you know just for the interview sort of thing um it sort of suited so yeah so this is a job it's not a new job as such I've been doing this job for a year as a temporary role and a permanent one came up because someone's going was retiring so I went for it and on the Monday and I got it on the Tuesday so really nice sort of news to have um, I was on an iron about it because it's quite a stressful job and sometimes I just think I want to go back down to just a a planner is what we, we call each other sort of thing and you just sort of go under the radar, you just do your bits and go home but as a manager, which is what this role is, um, 
obviously you've got a bit more responsibility. So yeah, but it's a bit more money and I get more time off and all that sort of jazz. So it works out for the better, I think, personally. But we shall see. I might have made a bad decision. But I got it, so that's good news. So then the little three by four picture of our pizza. So this is one of our favourite pizza places. And to be honest, as I said, it's one of my favourite places, but this pizza wasn't the greatest. Um, it felt like it was overdone, but it was still great. I was just really craving like a takeaway pizza. So we had it on the, it was either the Tuesday or the Wednesday um, that we got it. And I was just so happy with it. <laughs> I just wanted to sit and eat it. Um, so I wanted to take a picture of it because it is one of our favourite places. So I've just used um, some washi tape again, a little gold heart, and then there's a little um, word sticker that says treat yourself. So that's what we did. We treat ourselves to pizza. Now I put that sort of like journaling card at the top there, but I do actually move it. Um, I'm not sure why I decided to put it there because the whole idea was to put the little um, filler card that I had because it matched the sort of like interview vibes. But I do move it in the end. So I'm just trying to find some more um, paper to back the one about the COVID restrictions. Um, so as I said before, um, they relax all the COVID restrictions. And in England, we pretty much don't have anything anymore. Um, the only thing we have is um, like isolation sort of thing. So if you, have to, if you get COVID, you have to isolate. So other than that, we don't really have anything else at the moment, which is really nice. I, I really just crave normality and... In a couple of weeks' time, no one will have to take a test when they come back from travelling. So that's a real big thing for us because we hate taking tests. And hopefully other countries follow suit and we can sort of hopefully get back, back to normal. Um, yeah, just looking forward to holidays and not having to worry about COVID all the time. So anyway, so I stick it at the top and I actually cut a little bit of the um, photo down. So there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom. And I just use some more washi tape um, and then I find a sticker from the collection says favorite moment and it just obviously because it's one of my favorite moments when COVID restrictions get lifted it's amazing so that you know we're not living in some sort of weird world where we can't do things so yeah so then I, I think I put another little gold sticker on the top I can't see if I've actually done it already um no I find it there so I go and stick the little gold sticker because there was a little bit of a gap so it was annoying me so I put that one in there and then for the um, photo at the bottom um, we went as I said we went to this restaurant in Leeds and I've been really looking forward to going um, my my boyfriend basically at the moment he's um, training to be a train driver um, and he's got an instructor and I've been on about this restaurant for so long and Joe's just been like yeah yeah we'll go not really that interested but the minute his instructor comes along and says it's really good he's so adamant about going so I, I sort of tease him and say that he's got is his boyfriend and you know that he, he's secretly in love with him because everything he says he just goes along with <laughs> like so anyway so yeah, I feel like he's got a boyfriend on the side anyway so we went to um Mowgli which was really good and it's like an Indian sort of um sharing sort of place really you don't get like a full meal it's like bits and pieces on the side um and it's just really nice it was quite expensive actually though to be quite honest but it was there for a celebratory celebratory meal so it was good we ordered a couple of dishes um joe had some like wings i had um gosh what did i have i can't think now oh i had some sort of um like barbecue chicken sort of thing and then joe had these um yogurt sort of dough ball things as well but i i'm not keen on them sort of stuff and then we both had a butter chicken and rice and a naan um, and then I also ordered a dessert which is the big photo on the side which is the six by four and I can't think what it's called and I do I need to write on it because I do leave a little gap for me to write the name of the dessert because it's obviously like a typical Indian dessert that you don't really get anywhere else um, and it's got a very complicated name that I want to make sure I spell it right. So <laughs> I've deliberately not wrote it in there just yet because I want to make sure I get it right. Um, but it's like all, they, they say it's like equivalent to like a sticky toffee pudding. Um, so it was like these dough balls as such um, that like soaked in syrup and with ice cream and stuff. So they were really, really nice. And it's quite nice to try something different. Um, you know, you could have gone for a brownie or something like that, but you, you can get those anywhere. So it's quite nice to try something different. 
So again, I just use some washi tape at the top and I use like a another label sticker just to stick on the side because I want to write a little bit about it. Um, and what's cool about the Heidi Swap Carefree sticker pack is that at the back there is these little stickers that says like who, what, when, where and all that sort of jazz. So I put a few on here, like I put um, I put one of the tops just says what and that's where I want to put the name of the dessert and then at the bottom I put where and then I spell out the name of the restaurant uh, which is obviously Mowgli so yeah so that's the sort of things that I did and I really like how it came out I like the blue um and the thing about these sticker books is that it's not just normally one color so my other layout for this week is a slightly um more well it's slightly different it's pink but it's still the same collection so it's quite nice that you can vary the same collection but different colors it's not all the same thing um so yeah so then this is where i move the cards around so then i put the filler card at the top which i believe is from um jelly bean soup potentially i think it was one of the random cut apart papers that i um bought and it just says be fearless in pursuit of what sets your soul on fire and I just thought that was quite good in terms of like going for job interviews and stuff and then I put the journaling card underneath on the bottom row so I can put my journaling on there so this is where I'm trying to work out where to put my um, alphas for the week because I want enough bullet points to write the days of the week on there and then you know so I'm not and enough space to write so I'm using these really old glitter navy blue um alphas and i just put the week four and then i think i've gone to go find my date stamp which ends up right next to me anyway so i've just gone for absolutely nothing um but i use my date stamp to obviously put the 23rd to the 29th of january and then i write sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and then i obviously write what i did like briefly not like anything major but i just write little bullet points of what i did that week and i thought that was quite cool so I'm just putting the little dash in between the weeks. And I do actually put um, in the, again, the sticker book, they have these little um, corner stickers. And I put ones just either side because there's a little bit of gold on some of the like sleeves. So I want to sort of make it consistent because it's got the gold hearts. And then on the Mowgli picture, the what and where stickers are gold. So I just wanted to sort of match a little bit. So this is where I write out um, the days of the week. So I put Sunday... Uh, Obviously, you can see I'm putting days a week. But then when I write down what I did, I realised that it didn't really stand out that much. So I go and get a blue, like, um, pen, like a felt tip sort of pen. But it's very, very light blue. And just go over the writing and in the bullet points just to make it stand out a little bit. So I've just put Sunday and a little arrow that says prepare for interview. Monday, interview. Tuesday, I got the job. Wednesday, pizza. Thursday, covid restrictions are lifted and Mowgli friday joe off skiing and spa day and then saturday was magic mike in london so the friday and saturday as i said they're on the second layout because it was a week a uh, week it was two days with my friends and we just took a load of photos so i wanted to obviously document that um in a more depth sort of thing so yeah, I'm just writing out bits and pieces and that's when I realised that the days of the week didn't really stand out. So I go and get my blue pen. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all I do. Um, I do obviously do my journaling on camera this time. And in the little... I can't remember where that journaling card's from, actually. Sometimes I look at the back. Somehow I can remember from the back. And I don't know. It's a bit weird, isn't it, when you can remember something from the back. Um, but, yeah... So I do my journaling and that's pretty much all I do. So that's my blue pen. And they're really good. Those blue pens got me through um, my interview, actually, because I like to write things out in colour. That's how I remember things. Um, so in my journaling box, I write... It was a busy week. Again, I prepared my prepared on Sunday for my interview on Monday. It was horrible. As I said, the interviews I've done three times with my manager so far and... Yeah, she just knows me too much and it's just it just feels a bit awkward now. I just hate interviews. Anyway, I hate, hate interviews so much. I then went to York to have drinks after Rob's funeral. Unfortunately, one of my colleagues actually passed away, which is really scary, actually. He passed away on um, the week before. Um, he was elderly, um, but it was a bit of a shock. He was at, he was at work the day before. Um, I wasn't close to him and I hadn't seen him for two years, obviously due to the pandemic, but it's just a bit of a shock when one of your colleagues 
you know pass away like that so we went for drinks um to obviously celebrate his life and stuff like that so that was nice um and then code restrictions were lifted on thursday and then we went out to mowgli for food in the evening it was really good so that's what i write in my journaling um card but then on the little bits and pieces around the layout um the one of me on the interview i put i had my interview for the srp permanent job and i got it and then on the little one above the mowgli dessert i just put we finally went to mowgli in leeds and that's i blessed a tiny little gap just at the top and that's where i'm going to put the name of the dessert so yeah so that's pretty much everything you can see that my desk is an absolute mess like project life is literally taking over my life <laughs> because it's it's a job in itself to sort of remember to take photos well yeah to take photos to take photos that are good enough for project life and that are going to fit in the sleeves and to have enough photos and then it's another job to try and you know obviously plan your layouts um and what stuff you want to use and having enough cards and stuff like that it just i mean i absolutely love it like i'm addicted but it's it's a big job. I didn't realise how much people make it look so simple. Maybe because I over I really do overcomplicate things. You know, I, I put a lot of embellishments and I probably do too much. I probably document too much. But that's what I love to do. I want to document the little things. Um, and this is the way that I can do it without having stores and stores of books, basically. Because this, I mean, this layout here with, you know, one, two, three, four different events in my life in a week that would have been four layouts easily and then you know four pages is a lot you know a lot of space and it's a lot of things to do and that was just four days of my life so I can't I can't have a layout for everything I want to document so project life is like a happy medium basically I get to scrapbook a little bit and I get to document everything that I want to document um, so yeah, I will be doing this hopefully for the rest of my life. I see myself doing it for the rest of my life because it's just so interesting. Even now I'm looking back th on week one and I think, God, that seems ages ago. So no, I absolutely love it. And I hope I get to keep filming it and keep sharing with you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it just as much as I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is everything. Um, I will be back shortly with part two and I have done it this time and yeah I re I've really enjoyed using this collection of Heidi Swab hopefully I get to use it a few times again but that's it so I'll see you soon bye